Good morning, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? How's quarantine? Quarantine, uh, quarantine was going okay until the weekend and then this weekend was hard. It was, um, it was I don't know, I had a sort of, a, a sense of downness and also lethargy, lethargy? Le 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 lethargy, what is the word? I was tired <laughs> and I don't know why I haven't done anything. But uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a bit of a, it was a tough weekend. How about you? It was good, it was fine, uh, gardening, veggie patching and uh we bought a new trampoline so it's like Damn. A, it's like a third parent wow is it have you put the trampoline have you embedded it in the ground or is it above the is it in the danger zone uh it worked we, we did have one that was embedded in the ground and then we this new one is like a bigger one so we put it down like the bottom part of the garden so it's okay. This is like this is our gift to our kids uh, to get them through this quarantine and to leave <laughs> us alone, basically. You know, you know how we're meant to be staying away from frontline and you know medical services. Yeah, this is this is like what? it's got protection all around it. It's like it's right. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not gonna. It's gonna be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, all right, all right. I believe and you. even if they break a leg, we'll just we'll get through it without going to the hospital. <laughs> I feel for your children. <laughs> um, what we. We were we were going to do something different today, weren't we? Yeah. So I I we were thinking uh, that we were going to do so so like we I want I wanted to find out what like the pro climbers were doing like these days okay. to kind of stay sane, to stay fit, and to stay healthy, whatever. So I thought that maybe we should like set each other a challenge where we like we go away and we find out our favorite like three pro climbers and how they're kind of not favorite three pro climbers, but mm -hmm. how the three the favorite. Three Pro climbers who are dealing with the situation. Yeah, we're not favoritisms. We just want to want to find cool stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. So we want to. Right. I mean, yeah, exactly, exactly. So I, I think we both need to go and find like our like our favourite three COVID climbers. There you go. Uh, <laughs> and and then also I think we should like add one which is like our favourite like non pro climber kind of setup. So like okay. the coolest uh, like home climbing gym that we that we found uh that's not a pro climber so you can't you can't stick dave mcleod in there because his bouldering basement is ridiculous uh and All it's right. bigger than most climbing gyms but um yeah so i think i think we should like go away for a couple of hours come back present the rest of the news as well because there's a, there is other news right yeah, there's, there's there's bits and pieces. Um, the, the new show is tricky at the moment, isn't it? But um, yeah, there's there's some things. Okay, so <laughs> three pro climbers. Yeah. One normal climber. Yeah. A bit of news, if possible. Yeah. The best of sort of the best of social media and the internet. That is what we should be going for. Right. Okay. I'm on it. Okay. I'll see you in a couple of hours. All right. <laughs> A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so we've gone away. We've done some social mediaing, uh, searching, trawling, gone through YouTube. Have you have you found some good ones? Uh, I'm gonna say yes. They're very good. <laughs> uh, I'm confident that I'm gonna wipe the floor with this one. Some of my Ooh. ones are just incredible. A little bit of variation <laughs> in there. Uh, a little bit of a little bit of everything. Um, okay. So I'm I've gone to all corners. But mostly wow. Instagram. All corners in 45 minutes. I'm well impressed with your trawling ability. All right, uh, you start. I want you to go first. Come on, All right, hit me okay. with your best. So I'm, I'm going to hit up a sort of a personal favourite here, uh, which is Mr. Silly Goat himself. Uh, and if we've talked about Mr. Silly Goat himself. Wait, so is this a professional rushes. climber or like a, this is... This is uh, just a normal punter guy. I, I'm going to count him as a professional because he's certainly within the within the industry. Okay, because he kind of he makes professional brushes, he makes professional holds, and. There's two reasons I wanted to talk to him. One being that his setup is awesome because he's got this little tiny space that's in one of his workshops and he sort of made this systems board-esque overhanging 45 degree thing. He's extended it into the roof. It's like a sort of a homemade beast maker, right? Which Very it just nice. shows what you can do. I mean, he's literally probably got like a meter and a half. He's built this little wall. And honestly, I would kill to have that in my studio right now. Um, but what I like about it is it, he's one of the people sort of 
in danger in this coronavirus situation in terms of work. You know, he's a he's a freelancer. He, um, you know, he, his his industry is shaky. You know, ours is too. But we've got the content thing, but it's an example of someone who's sort of adapting. So he's making holds now, which he's sending out to people so they can build their own gyms. Um, and I, I like that because it's you know it's taking what you're good at and what you do as a job and then just tweaking it to fit in with this new situation. So sure. I'm super impressed with that, and I'm I'm just really jealous of his board to be honest <laughs> is there any way that you could get something like that similar up in your in your little studio flat right well let me just give you a, a little briefing right so my, my studio flat has got two walls that are so solid that i've blunted drills trying to get a screw in like don't they don't do it. it's blue tack only that's, so that's, in, that's encouraging though you could like if you properly got some like hardcore drills in there you could get you could hang some pretty hardcore stuff off that no i, I could do yeah i don't own one of them hardcore drills like i'm not i'm not really a sort of um like, I'm not good at building, to be honest. I'm more of a yeah. I'm more of a soft hand worker, you know. <laughs> yeah, back in back in medieval times, I would be the clerk, for example, you know. So I'm not I'm not I'm, I'm not set up. Administration. <laughs> yeah, if I tried to drill into my holes, there'd just be holes in my wall. Uh, and the other two walls are so thin that I can literally tap a nail in with my hand and it goes straight through. So I, I'm not sure I'm ideally set up. Um, okay. But you never okay. know. Well, I mean, there you go. There's always, you know, there's, there's, there might be potential for your next place. Let's, let's, let's put it that way. Um, yes. But uh, no, that's cool because I, I, I do like his, his holds. I've seen like a little thing on Bouldering Bobat uh, mm. that they did, and it looked incredibly impressive. The fact, like, as soon as you start like climbing on roofs, I feel like you're going to get strong. So, I think that's, yeah. that's got to be a good thing, right? Yeah, yeah. So, Mr. Silly Go, uh, just shouting you out. Awesome. Uh, what's, have, you, have you found something cool? I found something very cool. Yeah, so basically uh, it's not quite like a, a, a climbing setup, but it's more like about what the pros are doing. And it's Pete Whittaker uh, from the mm -hmm. Wide Boys, and they've just released a vlog on their channel. And it's basically, it's very funny. Uh, it's very Pete, it's very dry. But it's basically Pete going through his uh, crack climbing book uh, and mm -hmm. talking about how all the kind of like the techniques used to crack climb can be done in the safety of your own home. He goes through some of the basic elements from like ring lock holds in his garden, uh, mm -hmm. and he's climbing up the fences, uh, and right. then he's like getting fist jams in beside the washing machine, and then using the vibrations to harden up the skin. It's amazing. It's super good. It's, it's very hard not to read every innuendo into what you just said there. I was trying very hard to be mature, but uh, when you started about vibrating fist cracks, that's, that was the moment for me. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, I think you can watch it with that kind of uh, that humour in mind with Pete, because mm. um, you never quite know whether he's being serious or not. Uh, so, but that is, uh, I recommend watching that video. It's very, very funny. Um, it's very good. And if you are looking to up your crack climbing game, it's going to mm -hmm. help a little bit. So yeah, go check that out. The link is in the description. Um, love a bit of Pete. Also a good chance mm. to talk about uh, redemption, redemption drink? Recovery drink. Recovery. Recovery, Recovery drink. drink. Uh, which it was we put out last week. I'm just mm. Go and watch it if you haven't watched it already. Because there's one ridiculous pff, uh, crack dynamic move yep. that just, as soon as you, when you watch it, you've got this. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. And what people don't realise about that wall is because I filmed on it, right? And it's that angle that they've been filming on makes everything look vertical because you're literally in front of it. The yeah. thing is like, it's like 30 degrees overhanging or something. So like that dynamic fist jam is so ridiculous when you consider how overhanging it is as well. It's bonkers. Exactly, bonkers. exactly. Right, you're up next, go on. Yeah, so I, I just went for the top pro. I just went full pro. Uh, and I've gone to Jan Yagambre and Domin Skofik. And the reason is, is because before uh, BC, as we've been calling it, uh, before Corona, they were building an enormous climbing wall. Um, and I kind of thought that was, I mean, it's amazing because it's not a public gym. This is for them. This is their own training facility. So they've got a full length speed wall. They're building a full length lead wall and they've stuck some bouldering in as well. And I chatted to them at the Studio Blockmasters comp and we had a video that came out yesterday about that. If you haven't seen it, the qualities for Studio Blockmasters. But um, they're doing it all themselves. So they built it on Domin's dad's land in sort of this warehouse thing. Uh, and I chatted to Gaz Parry who sells climbing holes amongst other things. And he was saying they're doing all of the 
own work. So they're building it all themselves. They're putting in all the individual tea nuts all themselves. Amazing. But it's such a it's such a step up because you know. I, okay, so I follow motocross a lot, right? I'm really into motocross, and you've got all these guys in America with these huge facilities, you know, these dirt jump facilities, you know, within their garden and. This is the first time, to my knowledge, that I've seen a pro climber sort of step it up into that realm, going, you know, I am one of the best in the world, my living is in this, and I'm going to build something specifically for that side of the sport. I, I think it's a real step up in terms of professionalism, and I reckon we're going to be seeing more of them. And now we're, you know, in the middle of Corona, or AC, as we've been calling it. Or MC. That, you know, or MC, middle Corona, or what was it? Corona. Mid-corona. Mid-corona. Yeah, yeah, MC. You know, it, it's obviously paid off for them. So um, I don't think we're going to see Yanya and Domin drop their level anytime soon. We're probably not going to see them for like a couple of years until the Olympics. <laughs> yeah. They'll just be training in their new warehouse, yeah. which they built yeah. themselves, which I'm also very impressed of. It wasn't like just the building that they created. They just literally no. built the building themselves and then built yeah, everything exactly. else in, in exactly. it. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot, you know, indoors. Go on, go sure. on. I was going to say, it's like indoor skate parks, you know, suddenly people have got like, oh, I've got this warehouse in my back garden, I'll just build a skate park. You know, it's that kind of level, it's, it's awesome. Okay, here's a question. If you were going to build your own climbing gym, climbing wall, mm. like, what would be one thing, like, one kind of creature comfort, one kind of, like, thing that, that it wasn't necessarily a climbing thing, but it was just like, I, I want that in my, in my climbing sure. gym. Sure, it would be a deep water solo pool into a hot tub. Um, so the hot tub is constantly on, and if you fall off, you just land in the hot tub. Um, and but like you know, a big, a big hot tub, there. not just yeah, like, like a little a, hot tub. No, no, like a giant hot tub beneath the <laughs> sort of psycho block. So it sort of combines the safety of deep water solo and the relaxation of bubbles. Very nice. I think I would have uh, on the top of the sport climb. I'd have like a, a flume, maybe. Okay. <laughs> like I'd slide down, so I wouldn't have to like. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be laid down. I'd, I'd like get off, unclip and then slide down in, in the flume, possibly beside the bar and then have a beer waiting for me. Yeah, the alcohol is, I'm just gonna check my camera. Oh, oh, alcohol is, um, is doing good things, isn't it, at the moment for us. Anything alcohol wise, we just want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, next up, is, is it your or my go? My go. Uh, your go, your go. Okay, so this is like a little bit more basic one, but I wanted to shout her out because she um, is doing some incredible things on a bar. Uh, it's a good link actually because we're talking about alcohol, bars, she's mm -hmm, working at a bar. So basically it's Emma Twyford. Emma Twyford, if you don't know who Emma Twyford is, you probably should. But she is the first British woman to climb 9A. She climbed uh, the Big Bang last year. There's a big film out about her last year. She's an incredibly strong uh, climber. But she lives in Wales. Uh, she doesn't have a, like a, a, an at-home gym set up, but what she does have is a bar. And she can do stuff like this. Hopefully it's on the on the screen right now. But just, you know that thing where they, people hang off the bars and then they kind of do the walkie uppy thing at the side? Yes. And then, yes. And, then and then all the other kind of moves that kind of work out your core. Uh, I'm always very impressed by that stuff. It kind of looks like she's she's doing like a video for TikTok or something like that, mm -hmm. but I don't think she is. But uh, fair play. I think like people get kind of obsessed with like uh, getting stronger, getting stronger, getting stronger, but actually, you know, it's obviously very important to work out your core. You know that as well at the moment. You're doing big things with your core at the moment. Uh, so yeah. yeah, so I'm 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 very impressed by her core work. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to do a viral video at the moment. That's that's the only reason I'm doing this. To be honest, I'm doing a 30 day core challenge purely for the YouTube hits. Um, very nice. And the six pack and the six pack. It's shallow. <laughs> uh, two very good reasons: virality and uh, actually, you shouldn't really talk about virality in too much of a positive uh, way this, we, these days, seeing as it's, it's true. got very negative connotations. But yes, anyway, yeah. very good. Virality and a six pack is two things yeah. that I would take from a video, absolutely. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> um, I've gone another pro crime of my second one, which is Adam Ondra, because I was oh, sort of you fascinated. Just went for the, you went for the best of the best, didn't you? I just, I just, you just went, went for the clickbait here. You, you just Think of the title. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just, just, just people's <laughs> names. Adam Andres. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you go on, Adam Andres home training. It's going to be huge. Yeah. What, what I was interested with Adam is, is because there are certain people in this world who are very much defined by their sport, right? Because if you are a pro, pro climber, you climb. If you're a pro Formula One driver, you drive Formula One. For, same with the football, you know. And then suddenly we've got a situation where sport has been cancelled, and you have all these athletes suddenly sort of not 
quite knowing how to define themselves, I think, because what they did that was looked at, looked upon, uh, you know, in amazement, suddenly, you know, it's the doctors, it's, it's the other people in our society suddenly have, have reached this status, almost above athletes, above celebrities, you know, they're the heroes now. So I was interested to see how someone like Adam, who is the best climber in the world, how he adapts to it. Um, mm -hmm. There isn't a huge amount on his Instagram, but he has just released a vlog, a quarantine vlog. Yeah. And he's sort of he's sort of gone down the route of saying, you know, he's got his own gym, which we we I think Matt if he filmed that a long time ago. Um, yeah. So he's got he's got a pretty good setup, but he's choosing to put out clips that he we haven't necessarily seen. So you know, he's very much going for the whole like it will pass. Here's some clips from the future. Get inspired, kind of thing. Um, yeah. Which I find quite interesting because a lot of people have gone the other way. A lot of people have said you know, embrace the situation. And I don't think it's negative that Adam's doing that. I, I, I actually quite like it because there's a slight sense of normality in this because mm -hmm. I think we're so deep in it that I, I very much struggle to see the other side of Corona. You know, I just can't imagine it because Are it you, feels so you're terrible right see now. AC. You can't see AC. I can't see AC, because, and, and especially with stuff like travel that is my passion and it's, you know, you know we spend so much time on the road. You, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's a huge part of our lives and that's gone now. Yeah, so it's quite true. nice to see a pro climber just be like, you know, it does, it did exist, it still exists, and we will exist again. I quite like that message he gave. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. I, uh, I, I agree with that. I think that um, definitely something like Adam Andra, it's, I think it's important for like the, the the top pro climbers to have a positive mes message. And I think that, like you said, there's two ways of going about it. One way is saying embrace it. Let's get stronger. Let's get fitter. The other way is to be to say, look, this is the stuff that we did before. It will happen again. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, so fair play. I uh, I like the front mm -hmm. cover of his vlog. It's a good front his cover. His face. Really good <laughs> yeah. with a mask on. It's it's pretty. No, it's cool. I like do, it a lot. Do you think we'll ever reach the level of fame like Tom Cruise, where it could just be our faces on some of a cover? Maybe just just climbing daily as you and me face in shadow, and that's enough for people to click. I think I, I think I think I think a good example is by looking at last week's uh, podcast show, where we are yeah. on the front cover, and then uh -huh. look look at the numbers on Adam Andre's latest video. And there yeah. you'll see the difference between ourselves and Adam Andra in mm. terms of, of celebrities. Something to, something to work towards during Corona, maybe. Absolutely. Well, I mean, like you said in, in your <laughs> late, latest vlog, you know, we're all training. Uh, pro climbers can't climb anymore. They can only train. We can only train. Therefore, if we train, mm. we will become pro climbers. That's my goal, yeah. And it's realistic, I think. Who's gonna spo who's, who would you look to be a sponsor if you could become a pro climber? Other than well, Big I, I'm gonna start. Oh, you're gonna sponsor me. Excellent. So that's one. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I mean, I go big. I go Patagonia. I go Arcteryx. Patagonia. Um, and wait, you yeah. can't go. You can't go put Patagonia and Arcteryx. You have to choose one. Come on. Well, I got to play them off. You know, I'm gonna be quite popular. And um, but then when they fail, I'm gonna go like down a bit. So I'd probably go to like Aldi and see if they've got a clothing range. Um, Aldi. Like that. Okay. Yeah. And c encourage them to make some climbing shoes. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It'd be good. Budget. Poor Audi. Come on. You like? I wouldn't be surprised if they get in touch with, touch with us after this. To be honest. You well, know, you, you know yes. what happened last time. I, I do know what happened last time. I was about to mention it. I can't. Let's just say I got into a lot of trouble from a very big brand. A lot of trouble. There were letters about suing me. <laughs> it, it, it's, just, it's, it's, it's not a story for today. No, no, possibly no, not. No, no. Okay, uh, up? I'm up. I'm going to be talk. I want to talk about Brooke Rabatu. Uh, now, Brooke Rabbit 2, uh, again, if you don't know her, I mean, I don't know why you're watching this program, but um, you probably do know her. She's uh, an American athlete, she's qualified for the Olympic Games, and she uh, is making probably what I would say the best use of a home featured house that I've seen. So basically, she does this amazing climb where she basically, she, she starts off at the bottom of some stairs, she campers some stairs, she has a crazy mantle over something or other, she then does like a loop-de-loop -loop over a bar, then she gets on like a, a rock feature by a, a, a fireplace, it's it's crazy, it's like if that was a route in a gym, you'd think it was the best route ever. Um, yeah. So that's very cool, she also did a very cool uh, countertop traverse, where she basically just gets in a kitchen, and I've seen a lot of people do this, so on Instagram, it's very very cool where they're just basically just like traversing the countertops by different methods and obviously strong climbing. Uh, so yeah, so fair play to her. She's um, obviously, I think she's actually even got a climbing gym downstairs in her basement as well. But I think she's probably just trying to inspire <laughs> the other people who maybe don't have one. Nice. 
Very. Yeah, that's very cool. And her, par her parents are going to be understanding because they're climbers too, so they get it. Yes, exactly. Uh, I think it's Didier, Didier Rabatou, uh, who's a, her dad, who was like a former world champion, and her mum as well, who was a former world champion as well. So uh, No pressure. No pressure. And her brother's <laughs> also like the first guy to do the sit start of the wagon. The wagon sit start, he did the first cent of that, didn't he? No Sean. Way, I didn't know that. Sean. Sean, no, of course, of course I did not. Sorry. Yeah. I'm being a idiot. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. Right. Nice. What's next? Um, so, so my final one. He was going to be okay. So Oren Coley, who is a British climber, we did a film with him uh, a couple of months ago. He has started a challenge, right? Mm -hmm. So he does 100 push, 100 pull-ups, 100 push-ups, 100 crunches, 100 squats in the quickest time possible. Okay, wow. so this was a challenge he set himself because he didn't have a lot of space. He hasn't got a gym, he's got a fingerboard, a pull-up bar, and that's about it. Um, but what I found fascinating about this is, number one, that's a hard challenge, like really yeah. hard challenge. But it's the amount of people who've been joining in. So he put this challenge out and people have been trying to beat his time. So he's trying to do it within a certain time. Um, and I, I, was, I love the competitiveness because, again, it goes back to this, we're losing sport, right? We have no sport. I still go into BBC Sport. I don't know why. I scroll down. I don't know why because I miss it. You know, I miss that side of sport. Yeah. And I like the fact that what he's done is almost introduced another sport to sport. You know, it's like competitive. People can do it at home. Yeah. And it's filling that that competitiveness within us, I think. Filling um, the void. And I, I love that. Yeah, I think so. I haven't tried it yet because um, it's going to kill me. We should do it. it. We should do it on Instagram Live. You knew oh, I was going to well, suggest that, right? I, 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 I was waiting for you to suggest <laughs> it, yeah. Um, we could do that for sure. Uh, Come on, Ryan. We've done pull-ups, okay. we've done press-ups. I think, mate, well, honestly, I think, I think we should do it. But do you know what today's challenge is? I don't know if you watched it yesterday. Because no. I, this is, I, I was going to hesitate because we're filming this, obviously, this is tomorrow, so we will have done the challenge. Mm -hmm. But uh, what is it? bring Sally up, bring Sally up, push up challenge. Oh, what the hell's that? So you know the song, bring Sally up, yeah. bring Sally down. So you do the whole song. Every time it's up, you do a press up. Every time it goes down, you go down. And then in the meantime, you hold the position. It's savage. I've never managed to do it. But I figured I'd try to do the song and see how far we all get within the song. Bring Sally up. All right, I'm up for that. You up for that? Yeah. <laughs> it's a classic. <laughs> I like, I like, I do like the challenges because, like, well, even though I hate them, it, it makes me do them. And yeah. I'm still slightly sore here from the press-up challenge last Friday. It kills me right it, in the right in the boob area, <laughs> pec area. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> if anybody's watching, doesn't know what we're talking about. Every day, Matt goes live at 4 p.m. on Instagram Live. Uh, we do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but sometimes we do challenges and we've done the pull-up challenge so far and the press-up challenge. Uh, Matt has basically destroyed us all, I would say, in general, uh, <laughs> up until now. I think you hit 320 press-ups press in half an six. hour? Yeah. 326? Yeah. Mm. <sighs> Insane. I, um, and my I'm, form was bad, though. I think it was bad form, but hey. hey. It, well, exactly. Who's watching? About fifty thousand yeah. million people. Yeah. Um, Millions. <laughs> your last, your last one. Have you got one more? Yes, I've got one more. Um, so my last one is kind of like we we talked about like the best setups that we could find. You went for silly got holds. I went for Mickey Wallaben. Uh, Mickey Wallaben, who is a German alpinist climber. He's climbed E10. He's climbed 9A. He's pretty badass in the mountains as well. You probably know him because we've done loads of stuff in him um, in the past couple of years anyway he is based at our his, at his home he's got a really cool kind of like uh, uh board set up in his kind of like little cave climbing cave whatever and he's got some nice little features around there as well but the main thing that i want to point out from him is he's got this uh he's got a climbing coach forward slash climbing partner forward slash training weight uh so this is his little brother who he basically like dresses up in a tiger outfit or his little brother dresses up in a tiger outfit and basically does the thing with the stick where you like telling what what hold to go next and then uh, he also doubles up his, his like climbing weight so when he's doing like uh, weighted pull-ups he basically has a <laughs> harness with his little brother strapped to him and he manages to do three 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 pull-ups in one of the videos on his instagram wow. it's it's That's pretty amazing. cool uh i probably should be using my kids in the same way but i haven't yet Maybe that's something. <laughs> maybe my lit, my lit list, my three year old, I could probably do a one pull up with. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, that's that's. I'm impressed. I'm impressed by Mickey um, using what you have available. 
That's the key to this quarantine training. Children. <laughs> yes. If you have children and you don't have weights, use the children and then educate right. them afterwards. That's top parenting that. I'm impressed with that. That's a good tip. Good, good older brothering. I'm pretty sure it's not his yeah. kid. I think it's his, old, it's his younger brother. If it's, ah, his, okay, if fine, it's fine, his kid, fine. then he had kids when he was quite young. <laughs> He's a stud. <laughs> um, cool. Well, I've got a bit of news news, actual news. Oh, really? Um, yeah, so the, the first bit of actual news is the Olympics, because we chatted about it being cancelled last week. Uh, it, it's been rescheduled and we've got the dates through, which is July the 23rd to August the 8th, 2021. That is the okay. new sort of penciled in dates for the Olympics. So pretty similar um, to, to, to this year in terms of dates yeah, in the year. Very similar time. Uh, and I think they're just going to try to move it back a year uh, and just sort of reset the whole thing. But it's going to be a heck of a party when that thing goes off. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, can't wait. It's gonna be great. And um, yeah. uh, like, I hope. Well, I mean, in terms of like Japan hosting, I, I'm pretty sure there's some kind of rule whereby the the country can only have it for a year. So this is obviously very special circumstances where they're able to extend mm -hmm. it. Um, and it's going to be interesting, not just in climbing, but in other sports as well, to see how like athletes react to, uh, to 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 the, the difference in like their cycles, obviously, and and how that kind of affects. Uh, some people and how other people kind of deal with it and stuff like that so yeah it's obviously yeah. already looking forward to it if it happens fingers crossed it does um, mm -hmm. and yeah that's gonna be awesome yeah there was a question from someone on our YouTube channel from Miriam uh, Bergerman I think I pronounced that right and he's saying what happens with John Won Chon's Olympic ticket he got assigned it because of the cancellation of the Asian Games will it be taken away uh, this is this is a very good question and one that I can't 100% answer uh, yeah. I will do some research and find out but the IFSC sent a press release to the press the other day with a list of the 30 athletes who were currently in uh, and his name was not on that list. So that sort of implies really? that they're going to reschedule the Asian Games. But I, I hesitate to say this just because the situation has changed so much in the last couple of weeks that I don't think we can make any solid things until we actually 100% find out. But according to that press release, he's not in it at the moment, if that helps. I would estimate that it will, they'll, they'll, they'll do it. They'll do that, that, that part, that, that qualification, I would say. That yeah. would be my guess. Yeah. Like, that would make sense to me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they had no, to cancel for the it's... coronavirus, but now they're postponing the whole thing. Okay, let's redo it. Whereas the one that's, ones that have already taken place, like the Pan American and stuff like that, those guys, mm -hmm. obviously you can't, like, re-hold that. That's, they, they're qualified no. type thing. They earned it, didn't they? So it's fair. Yeah, no. So it, that, mm -hmm. that would make sense to me. Yep. Um, the other news I've got is sad news because, uh, as everyone knows, Arcteryx are our main sponsors. We do a lot of work with them, uh, and they've we've, they've sadly had to cancel both the Lakeland Revival in the UK and the Arcteryx Alpine Academy in Chamonix. Um, yeah, it's one of those things. I think we all knew it was probably going to happen, but uh, that's definitely happened now. So we won't be there. It's very sad, but we will be there next year. We will return. We uh, will. So excited for the future. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, like for all the events that have kind of been cancelled and, and all that kind of stuff, uh, we and the stuff that we normally do, we will obviously it will it will take place. It'll be back. Like as as yeah. as Adam Ondra says, there's life after after Corona. <laughs> there's life. AC there AC exists, and we will be there to yeah. embrace it when it comes. I hope so, man. I I, I miss it, and it's um, yeah. It's I touched on it earlier, but it's uh. It feels like we're so deep in this thing at the moment, it's very hard to see any light. Uh, and I know that sounds dramatic, but I th and it is dramatic, but I think it's the way that because our lives have changed so much that this it takes some getting used to, you know, it really does. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been an up and down week for me, and I think it's been an up and down week for a lot of people. And it's just sort of trying to work it out, isn't it, as we go along? Yeah, I, I think I want to hark back, and you kind of mentioned it before, I'm just going to look at my computer real quick here, but basically uh, we, um, I think we want to hark back to the fact that the community has kind of come together really nicely. We've got some, we, we've got some really nice um, comments on last, last week's uh, mm. video, which I was really, that made me feel, had it made me, gave me a good feeling, gave me a little buzz. Yeah. Uh, maybe at the time then we kind of, you know, when we, when we need the most kind of thing. I think it's like you've, you've touched on it before, it's, it's when we're all come together uh, and when we kind of have that kind of shared experience and stuff like that, it, it, does, it does mean something. It means uh, we're able to kind of get through these times a little better for sure. 
Um, and I am very grateful for, for you guys for watching and, and, and to be able to kind of carry on doing this and to kind of have communication and, you know, to be able to talk to, to everyone. I don't want to get too emotional like we did last time. You know, I, I slightly <laughs> regret saying that I love you, Matt, but no, I don't. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow, um, <laughs> that, was, that was the highlight of my week. It's fine, it's fine. No, but um, I, yeah, I, I, I definitely am very grateful. But let's not, let's not end, end the, the show on this. Let's do something funny. Do something funny, Matt. Uh, okay, uh, well, join us at 4 p.m. every single day for funny stuff online on Instagram. Um, and I think, like, look, we are churning out some of the best content that we've put out in ages. We had, oh, That's what we can we talk about. The... We can talk about media. Sorry, carry on. Let's, let's talk about yes. media. Well, Bang Off the Media is climbing daily because we're putting out different kind of shows. Sick Training was a big hit last week. Loads of you have watched that video and I have literally an inbox full of people's sick training videos that I have to where, talk where, through Where should today. they send it to, Matt, if they want to send it? Because I think that is... Go on. Okay, yeah. So send your videos or video clips or pictures, whatever you want, to climb at epictv.com. Just mark the subject sick training or home training or home, anything like that. Uh, I go through every single video, I watch every single one, uh, I reply to everyone, and then we put the sort of the coolest, the weirdest, the, the ones we like into the sick training show that comes out every Thursday instead of the Sixth Sense show. So get involved in that, everyone. Awesome. And also, also don't forget to uh, subscribe, obviously, to this channel, but also subscribe to epictv.com, where we are putting out like about two or three videos a week as well. Uh, Recovery Drink was last week's kind of main feature, but also we had a really cool uh, film about Patagonia as well. Uh, this week, Cold House Media, doing some funky-ass climbing in a funky-ass gym with masks on. <laughs> Uh, and we've got another couple of videos coming up as well. So yeah, so subscribe to both channels. Um, if you need that uh, distraction from everyday life, from everyday quarantine life, uh, we've got the videos that will help you. Damn right. Cool. On that right, note, man. yeah. See you at four for the Have challenge.